Let's get into the black bag. What's in the black bag in today, the sir? Black bag. Uh, so in Hangzhou, uh-huh. Hangzhou is a city in uh, in in China Tell where, me about we, where we so happen to be. In <laughs> uh, Hangzhou, there was a woman that was denied entry to the metro. Say what? Because she had her shoulders out. Say what? So she had some shoulders. You oh, uh, it might this might be too hot for TV. Okay. For okay. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> but so uh, because her shoulders Sizzle. was out. Uh, she wasn't able to get on the metro like these staff kind of you know just these just the show. So the question is, when did shoulders become a sex symbol? When did shoulders become a sex like, symbol? I don't I don't get why shoulders are the thing that's like. So she could she could have had on a skirt that like hmm. all the leg out right all the leg. You number one and I, a little bit of the hock too I'm, right. I'm not all about I I hate police and clothes right. I hate policing people's clothes. Yeah, we're not going to be nobody's fashion police. Right. Like, that, that, if people want to wear what they want to wear, let them wear what they want to wear. Wear I what mean, you want to wear. What again, would make you happy? That you, you can speak about time and place, you know, what's professional right. versus what's not professional. All I right. get that. I have I get that conversation, especially for all the young people out there that's listening. Like, there's a time and place for your for your street clothes, and there's a time and place for professional business casual clothes, Do right? Do not wear your Wu-Tang Clan shirt to a job interview unless you're interviewing with the Rizzo. Right. <laughs> well, there's plenty of jobs you probably could wear. No, nah, it's probably yeah, there's plenty of jobs. But yeah. uh, if it's if it's not in the hip hop, you know, <laughs> type of community, then maybe you shouldn't wear that. But when it comes to telling people, you know, about their bodies, like what they can and can't wear, I don't get the logic of it because mm-hmm. you can go to a beach and see somebody in a bathing suit uh-huh. and not have a problem with it. But the shoulders out, the abs out, the legs out, half yeah. of the it's out. So, so I guess I, I guess I, I don't get it. I guess I just feel like, um, well, I mean, you, you want me to get a roll with the follow yeah, up? Yeah, roll up with it. I, I, here, here we go. So we 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 were getting together, and we said, is it wrong of me or anybody, you know, to uh, try to even? <laughs> you say it, man. I can't say this. All right. So <laughs> based on, I can't say this. Like the idea, I can't say this. The I idea of it. like cleavage, right? Cleavage. Like a woman. Or, or someone of the female dressing swagger, because you can get cleavage with drag queens, right? right. As well, drag queen cleave. Well, they they paint it on, but they well, no, well, it's a lot of yeah, technology that goes to the drag queen. But there's cleavage, right? You can see. Just say it, brother. Say it. You can and see, say it in the most potentially offensive way possible. You can see the breasticles, um, hanging out of the shirt, All right. basically, and I love it. I think it's beautiful. I can't wait till you drop this. It's God's gift to creation. Just let it hang out. One of God's. Just let it hang out, bro. Let it hang out. So my idea is that, like, I'm a performer. If you've ever seen my show. He's a fantastic performer. Thank you, bro. My boy. Oh, yeah. Put a lot of energy out there. (laughs) I I try to. And and one of the ways that I find myself to be the most comfortable is when I have on, like, you know, tight biker shorts while performing. You got what on? I have on really tight pants. Mm -hmm. Because I can, like, get some mobility. Mm -hmm. And I get the most... You know, mobility, I can get yeah. rolling. Yeah. You know, I can really That's get right. rolling when, it, right. when everything's, like, tight. That's right. And, like, inflexible. That must have been why they was killing it in the 80s, you know, with the, with the right. big, big hair and the, and the pants. Rick James. Rick James. Now we know half of the secret was the pants. James Brown, same thing. Like, you can't James do the James Brown, Brown split. Nah, I agree with you. James you can't Brown. do the James Brown split if you got on baggy pants. Prince. You need some, like, tight-fitting pants. Mike. But Mo- let, let me get back to it. Oh, oh excuse me. <laughs> it's all good. So... If I have on the tight fitting pants, then I've had women come up to me after the show like, you know, like I can see your package <laughs> like during the show. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I can see your package through your outfit. Right. So I feel like in some ways, I mean, nobody's ever told me I shouldn't do it, mm-hmm. but these are like young people that I'm dealing with. So I'm sure like there's some, there might be a. The part of me that craves responsibility wants to say, you know, unless somebody asks us or unless there's a real safety concern, not a perceived safety concern, who are we to tell anybody what it is that they should do with their bodies? Right. You know, these kind of attitudes where, you know, because your shoulders are out, like somehow uh, your world or you're altering the world of the people around you in a significant way where you need to be co- corrected because you have your shoulders out. That's one of those type of situations where I encourage all of our listeners to just Mm -hmm. say, if you should ever be confronted with this sort of energy, thank you for sharing. Right. Which really means, you know, you know where you can shove it. And then, um, you know, thank you for sharing and you just go about your business. So I guess to argue the other side of it, right? 
like uh for 20 years of my life i i went to i went to church uh very consistently christian church uh-huh and so <laughs> like from the other perspective like there's a there's a scripture that says if the meat that i eat offends my brother i won't eat that meat you okay know what I'm saying? so it's like the concept of if what i'm doing maybe offends someone else i won't do it sure but when is it like when when do you how can you put a limit on that? Like where I won't explore my personal freedom because of somebody else's uptightness or somebody else's like ideas. It's a great question. That don't like, where do you draw the line on like pleasing other people and then pleasing yourself? Hey, I really appreciate this in the black bag. Cause I feel like this has got some serious legs on it. For sure. You know, this is a good ongoing conversation. You guys can tune in. We want to hear what you guys you think on it. Instagram, anywhere. Let us know, like, what you think. Like, our Instagram will be right here. You'll see it. And uh, let us know in the comments on YouTube, whatever. Wherever you find us on Pyro, wherever you find the Pass the Bag podcast. Let us know what you think, or you can email us, and the email will be right here, too. So, let's keep it moving.